Hola out there again to all my YouTube watchers, the creepers out there. It's a beautiful day today, summer day, the beginning of July, actually the day before the 4th of July. If you're American or know anything about American history, you'll know tomorrow's the celebration of the independence of the United States from Britain and I believe actually technically what it is is uh, the Declaration of Independence um, was I guess signed and um, became uh, yeah the Declaration of Independence and kind of the start of the whole revolutionary war and all to become independent from Britain Anyway, moving along, uh, this video, I just decided to do kind of spur of the moment. Uh, please excuse the microphone here. Um, I think this is probably the best way for me uh, to get the sound into the computer, into the video, because there is a built-in microphone or a couple of them on my laptop here that I'm using to make this video but it doesn't pick up very well so you're gonna have to deal with this weird thing down here by my chin or chest because um, it picks up my sound a lot better I think um, yeah so I have some mate here drinking some Cruz de Malta today my yerba mate with uh, my new katana bambisha or Bambia, depending on your particular dialect of Spanish. Uh, drinking some, yeah, I think I said already, Cruz de Malta. My spotted little gourd. Salud. Got to pour a little more here. Getting to the gist of my video here, after the whole introduction and whatnot. Embrace your inner weirdo. Yes, that's the title of my video today. And what does I what does that mean exactly? Ooh, a lot of steam coming up on that one. Nice. Uh well, today I kinda look like a weirdo, I guess. Uh I am a weirdo. I've always kind of considered myself a weirdo. What does what do I mean by a weirdo exactly? Well I suppose to me a weirdo is somebody that is a little bit different um, perhaps somebody that might make others around them a little uncomfortable because they act a little different look a little different think a little different talk a little different walk different whatever they're just a little different from most people around them they don't quite fit into a particular pocket a uh, particular genre a particular uh, click if you will Um, most people, I believe, have an inner weirdo. You know, they kind of start out as children and, I don't know, I think most children, you know, up until the age of maybe, I don't know, five or six maybe, maybe a little older than that, are generally kind of, they're kind of weirdos because they don't know any better. And what do I mean by know any better? They're children. They haven't been fully acclimated to the ways of society, you know. Um, taught how to behave, you know, the social norms, um, you know, what type of things to believe, uh, what is right, what is wrong, um, all those types of things. They're a lot more carefree, you know, they don't quite get everything that adults get or even, you know, older children or teenagers, young adults get. Uh, so they're kind of strange. They're little kids. They go on about their thing. They have fun. They don't worry too much about things. Now, going back to the whole weirdo thing, you know. It could also think of weirdos, I guess, as a negative thing, because some weirdos are no way of beating around the bush. You know, they're they're creepers, they're predators, they're pedophiles, they're you know that kind of thing. And that's not what I'm getting at here. Do not embrace that. Um, it's not good to be 
a creeper, a pedophile, a predator of that sort going after somebody young or old, um, boy or girl, man or woman, purely for your own sexual benefit or whatever rocks your boat or rows your boat, whatever, you know, that is not good. You don't want to hurt other people. You don't want to invade their space, their uh, own personal being when they're not willing, you know, and when they're children, especially, they don't know, they they don't know what's going on, that's not a good thing, don't be that kind of weirdo, the kind of weirdo I'm saying is, you know, express yourself, you know, be, grow up and we become afraid of being ourselves, being different from other people, this drink right here itself is different to a lot of people in North America and outside of parts of South America, it's weird. Uh, let's face it, a lot of you watching this video right now are probably already know, are really acclimated to what this drink is already, what it tastes like, how to prepare it. You know, this gourd here doesn't look that strange to you. I mean, it probably looks different from your gourd. The bombisha, the straw, probably looks different from yours, the one that you use regularly, unless you have the same exact one great it works really well i like it just got it a couple days ago but this is just one reason that i'm a little weird because in the united states you don't usually walk out you know into the street you don't go to work and see somebody drinking this stuff not like this anyway um you don't walk go for a walk in the park and see people sitting in a circle drinking this stuff that's just considered weird in the united states and most else elsewhere in the world in Argentina and other places you know Uruguay, Paraguay, southern Brazil it's mm, quite commonplace it's their tea it's their coffee um they still drink some of that down there you know but this is their thing down there and this is my thing and I have a circle of friends on Facebook on the internet and elsewhere and I've gotten friends and family members into it so I uh, they're kind of a little bit of weirdos too I guess but you know everybody's has their own type of weirdo and beyond having a weirdo type of drink um, I suggest embracing your inner weirdo that's one way you could do it uh, you know other ways are to just you know kind of break free a little bit from what society expects from you in, in some regards uh, you know society expects from you to grow up go to college or get some kind of job training you know and go get a job make some money um, buy a house have children uh, I'm not saying these things are bad in any way, shape, or form. Um, I don't know. It could get deep into that. So some aspects of those things to me are bad, but that's going too deep for this video. Uh, all I'm saying is you don't have to take the path most traveled by all the time. Um, if you're still young or even if you're older, you know, I'm over 30 years old now. i uh, been on this earth for three decades over 30 rotations of the sun around or the earth around the sun so I still don't have my life figured out I'm not afraid to admit that I'm kinda in a transitional phase but I'm here now I'm in this moment it's a good it's a good day that's all you really have is this day you know people spend too much time worrying about you know yesterday tomorrow what you got to do five minutes from now you know it's all about that you know it's all about the worry and the concern and all the fears out there that we have and the, I think our biggest fears that keep us from doing what we really want to do or what we really feel we should be doing is the fear of rejection uh, of judgment from others and even judgment from ourselves you know 
uh, weirdos, a lot of them like myself, um, we've always been averse to that judgment, you know. The, uh, a buddy of mine, a lot of you probably know him, um, we're not real close, but we're acquainted with one another. Um, Dave Mate Ascarapur makes videos on YouTube. His mind, I think he made a Mind Pedals video recently. That's his channel, Mind Pedals. Uh, one of them. Where he said, pardon my language, fuck you. And he explains, you know, all about how, you know, you go out you, there and you do what you want to do. And to hell with anybody else. And, you know, he goes into detail about it. And I agree, more or less. You know, do what you want, but you know, don't hurt anybody in the process, and, you know, I don't think that's what, what he meant, you know, don't crush people on your way to getting what you want, um, but I'm just adding that little clarification, and basically don't, don't worry so much about what other people think, um, there's an excellent book by an um, author called Don Miguel Rees, and I've shared this on Facebook a few times, um, called The Four Agreements, and he has four agreements, uh, four ideals, if you will, that are an ancient Toltec um, way of thinking and living a full and happy, productive life for yourself. And one of those is don't take anything personally. Um, that might be, I think, for a lot of people, the most difficult of the four agreements. I'm not going to go over the whole book. This isn't a book review. But basically what that means is, you know, what other people say or do to or about you doesn't really matter to you, really, if unless you let it. Uh, what they say or do has everything to do with them and practically nothing to do with you. Um, that's kind of contradictory to what I like to say sometimes about we're all one and we're all made of the same stuff and all that kind of thing, which I also believe, but, you know, the thing is, is um, there is no one way I see it, you know, there is no this and not that. I always believe maybe it's this and that, a little bit of this and a little bit of that, and some, you know, somewhere in the middle is the truth. And so, embrace your inner weirdo. You know, be a little weird. My hair's all screwed up today. I'm growing it out. I don't know. I kind of haven't just wanted to cut it. I want to see how long I can get it before, you know, it just looks too bad or I get tired of, you know, washing it, combing it, brushing it and everything. So, you know, if people don't like the way my hair looks, I don't care. Right now... Um, you know, it doesn't matter in terms of employment because I'm unemployed. If it becomes a problem looking for employment, then maybe I'll cut it. I don't know, whatever. Um, I'm not too worried about it because I'm here now. I'm talking to you, or rather I'm talking to the camera, which some of you will see later. My video is getting extremely long. Uh, just kind of talking, talking off the cuff here. So I'm just going to kind of close it up now. And basically, in summary, embrace your inner weirdo. Don't be afraid to be different, to say what you mean. Um, you know, just don't be purposely mean about it. You know, it may come across to some people as mean sometimes, but that's their problem. You know, you don't necessarily need to apologize, but in my view, in order to live well, um, you need to make connections with people, and you don't, you can't make connections with people when you're cruel all the time, when you just kind of say what you want without caring at all what anybody thinks. So, you know, say what you want, but watch how you say it, because, you know, people can take things the wrong way. That's all I'm saying is, you know, be a weirdo, be a weirdo carefully. Don't walk on eggshells. But, on the other hand, don't jump into the fire. <laughs> to use a couple cliches there. And that about wraps it up. Uh, 
Hope you all have a great day, great summer, great 4th of July, whatever the case may be. Love one another. Be kind to one another. Salud. Oh yeah, one more thing. Just over 15 minutes long. Uh, I am now a Circle of Drink ambassador, which means that I promote mostly the Circle of Drink brands and uh, you know Circle of Drink products such as the Katana Bambisha. And so, if you would like to buy some things from circleofdrink.com, head over there, check out what they got, and you could use the code FRANK1, F-R-A-N-K-1, and get 10% off of your order. You could use that code at any time, and buy whatever you want from there, as much as you want, still get 10% off um, the cost of your products. You still have to pay for shipping or whatever, can't help that, but... Uh, yeah, that's that. Later.